Carrie here from Old World Home. My husband Dan and I officially transitioned from the SUV life to becoming a minivan family. The lease was up on our old car and we needed a new vehicle to sort of usher us into the next phase of life with Evie entering elementary school and Lara soon after. So we wound up going with a 2008 Toyota Sienna. We wanted something that would last us a good long while, that was well maintained, and that we could pay cash for. So let me go ahead and bring you into our van so I can show you how I keep it organized and what I actually store in our van. Just as I try to do in our home, I try to keep only what we need and use in our car. Starting in the front on the driver's side door, the only things I keep in here are some microfiber cloths for dusting and a bottle of lotion. On the windshield, we have a phone mount for when we need GPS. Above my driver's window, I have this built-in sunglass holder that helps to keep them from getting lost or scratched in my purse. Moving over to my visor, I purchased a CD case to hold our most frequently used CDs. We inherited quite a few extras when we bought this fan, so I went ahead and narrowed them down to only the ones we actually listened to. In our old car, we kept CDs in the center console, but this car didn't have a good spot to store them. This solution only cost me $3. On the passenger side visor, we keep tissues in a Dollar Tree organizer that's really easy to refill without having to remove. We have some nice built-in storage in this van, like this little cubby here. I keep a couple hair supplies inside, like hair ties and a clip for hot summer days. Down below, we have another cubby to hold charging and auxiliary cords, as well as a tire pressure gauge. Like I mentioned before, this fan does not have storage in the center console, or rather nothing more than yet another cup holder, so I had to come up with another solution. I picked up this bin at Home Depot and I'm using it as a drawer of sorts to hold overflow items. Currently it only has gum and a Chick-fil-A coupon, but when we get audiobooks from the library, we store them here. Now moving over to the passenger side, I wanted to share with you our mini trash can solution. I bought a two-pack of these shower caddies at Walmart for less than $5 and hung one of them off of the built-in hook. Now the trash has somewhere to go other than my purse and I can empty it when we get home or at any public trash can. In the upper glove compartment, we store the remote for the DVD player as well as our important documents. The lower compartment functions for us as a diaper changing station since I tend to change diapers on the passenger seat when I need to. I also keep in here a bag of bags, specifically the large gallon sized twist tie bags that come about 100 to a box for around 2 or $3. These come in handy for all sorts of things. The center of the van is all about the kiddos. Behind the passenger seat, I hung this organizer that I found at Aldi for $6, and it helps to store sunglasses, backup sunscreen, and bug spray. The larger zip pocket beneath contains an umbrella and a bottle of water just in case we need it. As far as the girls' actual car seats, they both have the same Graco MyRide 65 convertible car seats. They come highly rated on Amazon, they cost less than $100, and they can accommodate children from 5 to 65 pounds. I'll link them in my Amazon store below. My older daughter is definitely a collector, and her cup holders are always filled, so I utilize the second shower caddy as a little treasure box for her. It hangs above her seat on a hook and keeps those items from ending up all over the floor. We don't actually use the back seat at all other than seating guests, but I could not waste the space below. Another Home Depot bin in the larger size holds a jump starter kit and our car manual. And next to it we have a smaller bin holding a one piece backup outfit for each girl as well as a bathing suit for impromptu summer activities. In the very back left hand cubby we keep a well stocked first aid kit and on the other side, one more, just in case, bottle of water. And last but not least, the trunk. Since we are heading into summer, I'm storing our sand bucket in the trunk in a utility tote along with our potty seat. Behind that, I have an insulated bag filled with reusable totes for groceries and also a travel blanket that folds up into a carrying case. All of these items can be removed if we need more space, but on a day-to-day -day basis, these are our essentials. 
The trunk liner you see was actually a really easy DIY I want to share with you. This heavy duty floor mat came from Home Depot for only $17, which was so much cheaper than any other mat I could find online. I simply measured my trunk and cut the mat to fit. Once in the trunk, I marked off the corners to accommodate the curved wheel wells and trim them to fit. Now I have a custom fit trunk liner to keep our carpets clean and protected from wet stroller wheels and other dirty messes. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you are new here, please subscribe. I make videos all about home decor, organizing, and living a beautiful life, and I hope to have you along for the ride. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.